On your health watch, having a strong upper body improves your quality of life. So what are some exercises you can do at home to help? WVOA's Janie Wallace joins us with more. Joining me now is health expert Dr. Milady Murphy from Shelton State Community College. Always a pleasure to have you with us. Any pleasure. I'm so excited, here. Dr. Murphy, because today we're going to talk about building strength in our arms, and you're going to show us exercises for beginning, intermediate, and advanced. So take it away, Dr. Murphy. Well, Janie, and we're going to do it very simply. It doesn't have to be complicated to okay. be effective. Uh, to, for advanced, a little bit heavier, three to five pounds. For a beginner, one to two pounds. Okay. And to strengthen the upper body, three very simple moves. Okay. One is the bicep curl. And you can do anywhere between eight to 12 repetitions. Okay. And that strengthens the front of the arms. That's known okay. as our biceps. Biceps, easy squeezy. There I got you go, this. I like that. Now, what we're gonna do is what we do to one part of the body, we're gonna do the opposite side. Okay. We're gonna strengthen our triceps. We're gonna lean forward and our palms are up. And all you're gonna do is pulse upward and you can feel that difference. Autumn, I already feel it. And I just have one pound weight. There you go. I'm a wimp. And that, no, you're not. <laughs> but we're strengthening the back of the arms where okay. both men and women tend to be the weakest. Okay. That's a tricep. And then all you have to do is eight to 12 reps. And okay. so that gets the front and the back. So this, and then, and then we're gonna strengthen our shoulders. And that's okay. important, especially as we age. And a very simple movement is we're gonna make a hinge. We're gonna come up and then we're gonna bring it down. And we're gonna keep a slight bend, beautiful Janie, Thank to you. the elbow. So we're focusing on the muscle and not our joints. Oh. And so we're strengthening the medial delt. Uh, that's our shoulder area as well as the arms and you again eight to twelve reps and then you repeat that cycle three times okay eight to twelve times three sets that's right okay. now we're going to take it up a notch and this is only for advanced individuals. I'm scared. Well, Dr. Murphy, your up a notch and my up a notch are very well, different. You can do this with me because you're advanced. But Janie, and I do <laughs> want to say this, if you're a beginner, do not do this at home. Right. But right. if you're advanced, what you do is you just lean away from the chair, hands behind, and it gets every major muscle group that we just worked and then some. Hold Ooh. your abdominals in and you're going to feel this in the biceps the triceps, the deltoids. You feel it in your hair, Dr. Pets. Murphy. There you, you go, and even in the abdominal area, and indirectly, you're also working legs. And so, eight to 12 reps on that, and you add that to that cycle or that circuit, and you've gotten all of the upper body, and it really works it, and you never really had to go to a gym to experience yeah, that home. kind of contraction. That's now, right. Now, how many days a week should someone do this, Dr. Murphy? Well, two days a week is what the studies show to be really effective. And you really want to go for three sets. Once you get the three sets underway, five sets is wonderful. And, and two days a week. And of course, you want to add a little bit more to it uh, with some other things. But we'll talk about that in the next session. OK, this is so wonderful. We're going to be doing this again next month with a whole other set of exercises as you can do at home. Thank you so much, Dr. Pleasure, Murphy. We Janie. are trying to help people as well as myself here, admittedly, get stronger as we get older so That's that we right. can have a better quality of life. Nicely Thank said. Thank you so much. You can learn more about Dr. Murphy and Shelton State. We have a graphic with all the information there for you. Lynn, back to you.